Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brett Chapin. That's Engineer Paul Madrid. Uh, we are talking today to the very, very talented commercial producers. Is that what I would call you guys? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> Emily Matheson and Nick Stelzer. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, man. So you guys, you guys produce commercials. Basically, okay, here's the story. Emily, you're an actress, and you came out to L.A., and you were working and doing your thing, but you said, I'm going to kind of take the bull by the horns and uh, with Nick and start a production company, basically. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, in this town, it's something you learn maybe not right away, but you figure it out that if you're not doing more than one thing, mm -hmm. uh, you are you're going to be dead in a, in a matter of time. You know, you have to have your hands on a lot of things. Acting's my dream. Sure. But I love being creative in every way, and uh, producing and developing these commercials has been, been the way to go for both of us. And, and when you say you develop the commercials, what mm -hmm. type of commercials are they? I know they're for rock and brews. What, do you, mm -hmm. uh, w what type of commercials are they? Um, we're talking about um, commercials that are for digital uh, usage. So mm -hmm. for Vimeo, Facebook, YouTube, that sort of consumption. Uh, nothing on cable yet. <laughs> yeah, we're working on that. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, so they're all um, you know, commercials or um, videos that are meant to educate the public um, and also promote the restaurant. Awesome. So. What's 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 cool about Rock and Bruce? Why should I go there as opposed to those other places that I named in the last segment? Right. Rock and Bruce is a uh, is fun family uh, beer and great food. Um, it's really surrounds an outdoor beer garden. Um, the food and the beer is a focus. It's all American. The craft beers. Um, Nick can tell you about these. Uh, we have over fifty two taps. Yeah, we have 52 taps, um, we, as well as over 100 bottles there, um, and it's it's fun because it's it's one of those things where you know if you want to you can come and you can get you know your typical light beer, or you know maybe you're looking for an IPA, maybe you're looking for a Belgian quad, maybe you're looking for something a little more out there, sour beer or something. All right. And we can satisfy like all the needs of any beer drinker, whether they're you know someone who's more of a uh, again just wants their light beer just wants something to relax with or someone who's really you know a beer enthusiast and is is looking to pair beer with foods or looking to uh, um, you know try something new and and that's the fun part about it is that it's just so many options for anybody and the food is incredible as well it's all natural ingredients most of our stuff's homemade so it's uh it's really great experience sounds really good did you bring samples or, or what? <laughs> we should have <laughs> <laughs> right. i might have ate them already woke Next up time. the chef early this morning <laughs> so what about somebody that doesn't drink beer say i'm not a beer drinker and and uh, say i don't drink at all i don't even drink wine or hard alcohol what what's sure. what's uh what's good about the place is just the food the, the food, food the, the atmosphere food and the atmosphere definitely a focus you know it's rock and roll music we play old um music videos so a lot of times we'll see somebody you know sitting at a table eating or drinking or just eating and then you go to talk to them in there, you know, staring off at the TV because I mean, it's amazing. Like you don't think of all these old videos. Most of us have never seen the videos. We hear the songs all the time, yeah. but to see the videos is super fun um, and awesome. uh, follow along with them. Uh, also we have on tap, one of our taps is actually uh, root beer. It's Virgil's root beer, which is super Love amazing. Virgil's. Oh my gosh. So good. So that's for the person who doesn't drink wine or beer. Okay. Very cool. One of the cool parts, too, is that there's actually, they have, like, old live shows playing, too. And we actually had a, a, um, a Who sh uh, who show from a ways back. And I had this uh, this guy at the bar, like, maybe a week or two ago and was like, I think I was at that show, which is such a cool experience. This guy was talking <laughs> about. I used to go to rock and roll shows as a kid, and now he gets to watch it. You know, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Old random concerts yeah. playing while you're eating? That sounds yeah. very cool. Yeah. yeah. We have a yeah. huge projection screen. It's like yeah. like a live concert. Yeah. And they and they just had a grand opening there in April, kind April. of like a reopening. Right, exactly. Um, they were there uh, about a year and a half before uh -huh. and did really well. Um, sort of, it was uh, sort of a temporary structure outdoor beer garden, just really took off. And then uh, the one and only Gene Simmons came on board and uh, with our other two co-owners and took it to the next level. We tore it down in December, rebuilt it in 80 days which is incredible, never never done in the restaurant industry. And uh, we actually documented all of that construction process and reopened uh, April 3rd was the grand opening, rock star red carpet grand opening. It's really awesome. Was, was Gene there? Was Gene Simmons Gene there? was there. There was guys from Guns N' Roses, guys from... Uh, Deep Purple. Deep Purple were there, guys from uh, a couple of the bands Velvet Revolver. Really cool, yeah. yeah was, That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. 
Nice. It was insane. And then, so, uh, do you do anything else besides working with Rock and Brews? Do you produce um, c- commercials for other companies as well? Yes, actually, it's it's just in the starting phases. We you know we can't talk about everything we're working on at the moment. Top secret. Top, uh, secret. <laughs> top secret. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, but you know we're we're here as we love the community we live in and we love Los Angeles and so we're here for the local businesses and um, that's that's the the point of what we do is to use all of our creative energy to create something really cool like Mm -hmm. something cool i don't know i love the word cool because it (laughs) that is what the videos that we that we've done for rock and brews are and that's what we want to do for other local businesses absolutely where can people find uh, information about your company um well you can find information at uh beside the point endeavors dot wordpress.com mm-hmm. um, that's our, our blog that we just started we're still working on our full domain um, we also have a twitter btp underscore endeavors um, we have a facebook page as well beside the point endeavors um, and we're just really collecting all the stuff that we've done so far and trying to push forward into the future with new material that's mm-hmm. a super uh, cool name where'd you come up with that name beside the point it's really good that was all it Emily. Was so funny <laughs> well, done. well done it was almost it was the actually the one of the first ideas you know you have like a brainstorming session when you're starting something new um and it was one of the first things i wrote down because i feel like um in conversations uh you're always like uh talking about something and then you go oh that's beside the point and i'm like but that might be the most important part (laughs) you know you know so um i i think that we create value in the things that are beside the point so that's the sort of the history behind the name and then endeavors you know we thought about production or films or those sort of things um just wanted to branch out and do something new and create something a little bit different how right. many names do we write down nick we literally wrote down I? like a hundred names like we yeah. were, and it was funny we'd like text each other like we'd come up with names Randomly. and there's like just lists of names and, i'm sure and yeah. we we're like going through all of them and we're all like oh that's cool that's cool but we just said you know beside the point it like really says what we're looking for yeah. and endeavors is cool because it doesn't limit you just to you don't you're not beside the point media you're not just limited right. to, to right. media you can do other things Absolutely. exactly yeah and and that's um you know one of the reasons that i really wanted to have you on the show is because i really respect those actors that are proactive that that take they're not just auditioning. They go out and they do it themselves, and they do it on their own. And, and thank you. Um, I, I think that's very cool. What, what advice would you give to other actors that are out there and would um, are, are going through something where maybe their career is a little stagnant? Yeah, you know that what? happens to all of us. Sure. <laughs> don't don't fret out there. <laughs> that happens to everybody. Um, so and like I touched on in the beginning, really have your use all of your creative energy. You know, obviously you're in acting for a reason, and you have some sort of um, something you know deep inside of it you that you like to tap into when you're acting. So, you know branch out and see where else you can use that where you can utilize those that skill set you know chances are um there's something else in the industry you have a little bit of interest in so i i would just say dig a little deeper make some more contacts and see if you can't you know go down that avenue for a little while at least see see where it takes you you might like it a lot more than you think sure um which is because this sort of um started by accident really and uh and we just ran with it and i said wow i really I really love, love this. I love being the ideas behind things. You never know where things can take yeah. you. That's that's yeah. very cool. Guys, we're talking with uh, Emily Matheson and Nick Stelzer. Uh, if you have any questions for them, uh, they are with Beside the Point Endeavors. Uh, give us a call at 1-800-336-2225. That's 1-800-336-2225. They do commercials for rock and brews. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> we'll be back on La La Land uh, on CRN Digital Talk.